Ready for an update on the banded sugar ants, Queen Scarlet and her colony? Well, it's about time, so let's get into the video. Well, it's been quite some time since I've done an update on my banded sugar ants, the Campanotus concebrinus with Queen Scarlet. So, let's have a little look around the colony and how they've been going. So here's a little uh, walk around the outworld, which you're probably all quite familiar with. Um, I love this outworld, doing really well. In the centre there, you've got a bit of their garbage pile where they put all the dead um, cricket leftovers and the mealworms and bits and pieces, and also the other workers that have died. So I like this outworld, it's got a bit of character to it. And the ants seem to love it too. They're always out there exploring. Now, this particular species generally come out around dusk. Um, but yeah, that's generally when they get a bit more active here outside as well. Here we can see a couple of workers just busy around the nest entrance, just patrolling around there. What a beautiful species, these banded sugar ants. Um, also known as carpenter ants in some countries as well. So they're investigating in around here. And this is the garbage pile. Quite a bit of garbage there really. I need to do a bit of a clean out. A little bit of baking paper left over where I've given them a bit of a protein powder treat as well. So nice, just following these little workers around and seeing how they interact with their outworld. What do you guys think of this outworld? Let me know down in the comments. And it looks like this one is just having a last little munch on a piece of cricket that I've given to her as well. So that's pretty cool. They do like their protein. A couple of workers here just interacting with each other as they explore. And we've got some of these liquid feeders, uh, which are fantastic. So I've got this one full of water. And that's really good, just keeping that water up to your colonies. Make sure you're doing that, guys. Keep some sort of water source in there. If you don't have a liquid feeder, just use a test tube or something in the outworld. Give them an option. And there we go. I've got one set up with the sugar water as well. So they've always got a steady supply of food and water, which is very important for your ant colonies. So just remember that little tip. Now that sugar water... It's 50% sugar, 50% water as well. You don't want too much sugar or it'll go solid otherwise. So it's pretty cool looking around this outworld. I'm a big fan of this outworld and it's something nice on my desk as well, which is cool. Now, I found this little girl coming out of the nest. This is the, not Queen Scarlet, but this is the other virgin queen that has stayed in the colony, which is quite interesting. So, of those of you who don't know, she was, um, yeah, hatched from a cocoon as a female late, and she took her own wings off, and she walks around and acts like a worker. So I'll find her in the outworld all the time, munching down on crickets and exploring, and it looks like she wants to go for a little explore now, so let's see what she gets up to. Now for those of you who don't know, Campanotus concebrinus or the disbanded sugar ants are fully claustral queens. So they don't need any food in the founding stages. Um, they'll lay those eggs, so you can just put them in that test tube, they'll lay the eggs, they'll progress and they'll hatch to their first nanitics and then you can introduce uh, food then for them. So fully claustral queens, and you can see the beautiful size of her there. You can see the band uh, where they get their name from at the top of the abdomen. There is another Campanotus nigriceps, and their abdomen is completely black. So very similar ant though as well. Very similar species. So she's going for a walk here, and I don't know if you've noticed there, but her middle leg here on her right hand side, it's up in the air and a bit of a funny sort of angle. So 
Perhaps she has had a little bit of a tangle. I haven't noticed that before. Maybe uh, someone else in the nest the colony has had a go at her. But anyway, she seems happy. And I've checked on her a few days after this too, and she's completely fine. She's just going for a walk in the outworld. Well, perhaps she's come out for a bit of a drink. Might be a little bit thirsty. Anyway, she always goes for a bit of an explore, so I thought I'd just show that to you. So let's have a look inside the nest now and see how the colony's going and how it's progressing in there. And we'll get some nice uh, close-up macro footage as well. So let's have a look. Okay, so here they are, the colony inside the custom Waitong nest that I made for them. You can see how much room they're taking up now and look at all of that brood. So these guys are exploding in numbers. And that's really good. They seem to be loving this nest that I've made for them, uh, which is a great sign. I think I might have to expand as well, but I've got a port there to expand from, which is really good. It's a little bit of a flyover. You can see the size. You can see the different size of workers in there as well. And there you can see Queen Scarlet. There she is, just hanging on the side wall there, nice and close to a few of her brood. So we'll have a little bit of a closer look now. Now, one thing you may notice here is the bands. So some of the larger workers have quite swollen abdomens, and they're using that as a replete. Now, a replete is something, uh, is a worker, which holds a quantity of food in its social stomach so it can share. They're basically like portable refrigerators. So anytime an ant needs food, it will come up to one of these repletes and it will just tap it with its antennae and it will regurgitate some of that food from its social stomach. So it's a good way for the colony just to store some food. Um, so they'll collect that and they'll store up proteins and sugars like so. So you can see there's brood at different stages, which is really good. Queen Scarlet's looking nice and healthy. Let's see one of those repletes there. And as we come across here, we can see a few pieces of cricket or mealworm that they've brought inside as well. So hopefully they'll discard that into the garbage pile when they're finished, which would be good. But we can see the different size there, even they've gone past a soldier. But there's different size even in the workers themselves. You can see the comparison there between just a small worker and some of the soldiers. So plenty of cocoons here ready to hatch, which is a fantastic sign. I'm really happy about that. And it's a sign that this colony is doing really well. Look at that brood pile. I think we're going to have another, another hundred or so workers come along. Now here we can see a little pile of eggs workers just carrying around the larvae as well so it's really good to see more and more of this generation coming through and that's fantastic because this is the warmer months and this is when the brood progresses as well through the winter months they are quite dormant look at that look at those banded colors there and some of these workers you really see that their abdomens are swollen and more of those bands are prominent which is great and here's a bit of a close-up on Queen Scarlet. Looking healthy. Her abdomen's not hugely swollen um, as far as laying eggs, but she hasn't been like that for quite some time. And look at this beautiful brood. Just waiting and ready. Lots of cocoons ready to hatch. So that'll be fantastic. This colony is growing, growing very fast now, and I'm really excited to see how many workers I can have before we head into winter here and things slow down again. And this is why I love being able to access my colonies and look through. Um, you really get to see what is going on in the nest and it's, it's awesome. I just actually love it. What do you guys think? What do you think of uh, nests like this with the perspex or the glass top so you can see inside and see what's going on. I'd love a naturalistic setup uh, perhaps one day but at the moment I just love seeing inside the nest that's the interesting part. 
um, of what's going on. It fascinates me. And be able to get good footage like this and understand the processes and what goes on. It tells me so much more about these ants and also about the health of the colony and especially that queen. Yeah, so what do you guys think of uh, looking in on nests like this? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, thanks for continuing to watch. We've got a bit more footage to go yet though. So I'll be making another nest to add on to this one, which looks like they're going to need to expand into fairly soon. Before these cocoons hatch, it's going to be quite packed in here. So you can see just the tubing that comes off and runs out into the outworld there, which is really cool. So a fantastic colony, absolutely love this colony, and I know a lot of you guys out there um, appreciate this as well. Well, now I'd like to just thank my Patreon, Happy Ant UK. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the support of the channel, mate. If you would like to support the channel, head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Novo Ants, and you can uh, choose from the different levels and the different perks that come along with those different levels as well. So thank you very much. Well, there we have it, an update on my Campanotus conserranus banded sugar ants with Queen Scarlet. I hope you've enjoyed having a closer look at this colony and hopefully it won't be too long before I do another update and show you all the exciting things that are happening and continue to happen right the way through until winter when they stop. So thanks everyone for watching and happy ant keeping.